Capricorn, welcome back to Shacey Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Let's go ahead and get your messages. Remember, this may resonate from your perspective or whoever is watching. This is for anybody with a Capricorn sun, moon, rising, Venus. Okay, and if you're not sure what your other placements are, definitely go to astrosulfur.com. It's free and calculate your other placements. I find that I resonate for both my moon sign, sun sign, and my rising sign quite strongly, okay? And sometimes my Venus sign as well. It just depends, but go and check it out and come back to the playlist. Click on Chasey Tarot and then go look at your other placements. It gives you a much wider scope of what could be going on now or in the future. So remember, it is general though. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If I say he, it might be she. It's not gender specific. Let's start digging into your energy. Stay till the end. I'm going to get some messages from the person that you're dealing with or will be dealing with. What would they like to say to you so you will miss it if you don't stay till the end? All right, let's check it out. Hit the like button. Don't forget to support your fellow Capricorns by doing that. It also helps support these free readings. And it's a free way to support the channel. So I truly appreciate it. Thank you for your donations and for doing the likes and for hitting that notification bell so you can be notified of future readings. Okay, subscribing is also free. Let's get into it. Some of you could be dealing with somebody with blonde, gray, or white hair, maybe fair skinned. Okay, uh, that could be anybody. It could be somebody in your family. It could be a coworker, a boss, a friend, anybody. Ooh, we have fair man as well. Dealings or relationships with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. Maybe you're dealing with your own grandparents. Could be. All right, it could be. Or this could be somebody completely different. Dealings or relationships with a woman. Okay, already I feel like you're dealing with a lot of people, Capricorn. So I've got my new tarot dice that I'm going to use for your reading. I've already meditated on your energy. Let's see what comes out for you. Let's see what's happening for you. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm feeling like you've been feeling quite stuck. You feel a bit heartbroken at this time. Definitely uh, too many people going on here. Spirit wants you to know some happier times are coming. Some celebration will be coming towards you. And whatever a new beginning that you're looking forward to, because there's definitely a new beginning coming here, is is going to be uh, very solid for you, so not to worry. Uh, some of you could be dealing with children here, okay? Uh, but for some reason, you've been really kind of overthinking a lot. Spirit is letting you know here and focusing too much on what you feel you've lost rather than realizing you have a lot to look forward to. Okay, so Spirit wants you to look forward, not back. Happiness is all but assured with the sun coming out here, okay? So just know that, that happiness is coming. It will be a time of celebration for you coming, that out of every loss comes a new beginning, okay? So don't look at it as an ending, look at it as a new beginning, okay? I definitely feel like you have had a broken heart that you're kind of in this negative mindset mindset is what spirit's saying remember if it's not you it's whoever you're dealing with but happier times are coming let's start digging into your energy and let's see what's going on i'm going to use the light series tarot as well it's going on for capricorn for the balance of may so even though i'm doing these messages for may whenever you hear these messages is when you're meant to hear them okay because tarot um it, it gives you just kind of a guideline i've like i said i've had things happen for me three months, two months, all the way up to a year. Like, So and each one of you is going to be on your timelines at different times, okay? But let's see what's going on. You're definitely in your own reading twice here with the Queen of Pentacles. So some of you are definitely focused on your money, your coins. Some of you may have a choice, actually, between three suitors, a water sign, an air sign, and a fire sign. Wow. One of them could be from your past. Some of you are going through, like you're just feeling unstable at the moment, but Spirit wants you to know that stability is coming back if that's what you're worried about. Don't, don't focus on the past, okay? Keep looking forward. Spirit wants you to know happier times are coming. So I feel like you're very like career orientated right now, money focused here. Mm -hmm. Some of you could have gone through a recent breakup but broke your heart. But see, look at this. There's the Wheel of Fortune. Spirit is letting you know that everything that's happened is fate. It's destiny. You have to deal with your karma. Um, any good you've put out there will come, come back to you. Of just same way as if you put anything bad out there, that will come back to you. Spirit wants you to know everything's happening exactly the way that it's meant to. 
Six of Cups twice, Queen of Pentacles twice. Some of you are definitely dealing with changes in your family, your children, um, your stability here. Others of you here, uh, what's happening is you're going towards a soulmate. Could be somebody from your past here. Mm -hmm. Somebody may be really hot and cold in your life at this time. And Spirit is telling you that maybe you feel like this person isn't seeing you. For some of you, you feel rejected by this person or vice versa. But Spirit's definitely saying you've got a beautiful future coming in here for you. It's going to be very stable, very grounded. So whatever heartbreak you have gone through or will go through, it's not going to last forever. Clarify the Six of Cups. OMG. There you go, Ace of Cups. You got new love coming in. And it's going to be solid. It's going to be stable. Okay, so you have nothing to worry. You got two aces here. This is beautiful. You have a new beginning coming in here, and it looks amazing. Bottom of the deck, King of Pentacles. Could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, somebody that matches your energy perhaps here. Uh, but this is somebody that is very much into finances, uh, home, family, responsibilities, this union is fate, it's destiny, and you're going to feel this very soul-to-soul -soul connection with this person. Again, feel free to flip those energies. If it's not your energy, it's their energy. But it's like there's been heartbreak here, and it's kind of like somebody's been blowing hot and cold. And there's been a breakup, and out of that breakup comes a new beginning, a lot of happiness, growth, a reason to celebrate. Somebody who's been in a negative space for a long, long time and feeling stuck is finally able to kind of go towards you know what is meant for them here with the wheel of fortune i'm going towards my fate my destiny and it's all in divine timing what are the mutual energies please between capricorn and the person they're dealing with or will be dealing with in the near future let me know how this resonates for you down in the comment section again don't forget to hit the like button support the channel for free that way and it also again helps support other capricorns so it is a win-win let's see what's happening Let's see what's happening. Okay, so you and the person you're dealing with, it's like, I just want to feel supported. I want support here, you know? I want to feel supported. So, and you both have been going through spiritual awakening and you both have a fresh new start, either together or you're splitting apart from somebody and you're having a new beginning. Your person that you've left behind is having a new beginning. There will be a period of healing, okay? It's a time to um, heal and move forward towards a fantastic new beginning, new blessings from the universe. Everything's happening exactly the way it's meant to. Yeah, there's definitely been heartbreak here, but there will be healing. And you're both going to spiritually awaken and have a fresh start, okay? Um, maybe you'll, you will find a support with this person, be able to support and heal each other and move forward after a period of heartbreak, okay? Very nice energy here. Uh, Spirit is telling you that you're going through all of this because you're meant to. This is a turning point, a change in your life that is fated. It is destined here, okay? It's to allow you to become unstuck because what's happened here is you've been feeling stuck for quite some time, and it's, it's time for things to come out into the open and realize that you don't have to stay where you're not feeling supported or happy, um, where you're constantly negative and unhappy. Like, you're meant to take action towards your future, yeah, see, you're both meant to release your past in order to move forward to a beautiful new beginning that is meant for you, okay? So let's go ahead and see what's going on in the energy of the person you're dealing with or will be dealing with for Capricorn, for Capricorn. OMG, are you kidding me? Ace of Cups, there's new love here. Yeah, so your person, you know, this is a new blessing. Your person feels like this is a new blessing. There's new love here. Uh, it, there's a lot of love here. Okay, your person feels a lot of love here, a new beginning. I'm trying to manifest new love and making future plans. Your person here is definitely trying to manifest new love and make future plans. So again, either you two are splitting up or the two of you are coming together after you walk away from another situation here that, you know, you've been heartbroken in. Okay, either way, you're getting out of this stuck energy. Yeah, look, just as I said that, so you got the five of cups twice. So that's about, you know, I've been focusing a lot on the past. I haven't been re really be able to think about the future. 
but I'm trying to figure out what it would be like. But at the same time, I'm kind of still focused a bit on the past. So your person's still focused a bit on the past. They have regrets, you know, um, they're feeling disappointed about how things turned out for some of you here. Um, with somebody who may be a fire sign, we've got a fire sign strongly here. Uh, somebody that, that, you know, they felt a magnetic attraction with. You could be coming off as a fire energy. Okay, you could have fire and earth strong in your chart. Maybe you've been fighting a lot with this person. You're arguing a lot with this person. Or that is who your person is dealing with. Like I said, there's a, too many people here. And we've got the king of wands. We've got the king of swords. We've got the king of cups. We've got the queen of pentacles twice. We've got the queen of wands. Um, it's a lot of like hot and cold energy here. Fighting in and out, up, down. Could be like one of those relationships. It's kind of like a love-hate relationship you have with your person and things are going to change while wow, you both have the wheel of fortune so for some of you most definitely here it's kind of like things are changing and they may be abrupt changes or maybe kind of like an argument here again the hot cold energy where it's kind of like now we're ready to start something new here we're ending this situation because it you know we're just fighting constantly here there's too many people arguing and fighting and it's not a healthy relationship so you're going to have a brand new beginning. There's going to be lots of love and stability here. And it's going to allow you to turn around and stop focusing on the past. Spirit wants you to, to, to look forward, not back. So again, as I was saying, there could definitely be big changes in family um, environment here. But they're all destined to happen here with the Wheel of Fortune next to the Ten of Cups. Okay. Yeah, and it's taking a great deal of strength and courage and determination. But Spirit wants you to know ships are coming in. Yeah, there's the tower. It's dropping. So if you're in a current situation, Capricorn, where you've been in a hot and cold relationship, hasn't worked for a long time, I feel like the path is going to be cleared and you're going to have a new beginning once you decide to let that situation go. And I say that because you have released the past in your mutual energies because there's been too much heartbreak um, in your connection. It's time to heal your connection and go through a spiritual awakening. And once you do that, Spirit is saying you have brand new blessings, lots of love coming in, lots of stability, and um, it's something to look forward to. Now, let's see what your person of interest would like to say to you here. For Capricorn, please. What are the messages from Capricorn's person of interest? What would they like to say to Capricorn for the month of May? What are the messages? Again, let me know in the comment section how this resonates for you, okay? All right. Wow. There you go. Again, going through a spiritual awakening. Either you are the person you're dealing with is or you both are. It is in your mutual energy. So you may both be in going through a massive changes and this is all destined to happen with the wheel of fortune on both sides okay the awakening process has begun they now hold a new understanding of love and recognize the connection okay so there's a new blessing coming in here that somebody maybe was refusing to accept before but it's all happening for a reason um, and it's your person is going through this awakening and having a higher understanding of what love really is here. Okay. Children, children are affecting this connection. Okay. Be patient and allow them to resolve things for the highest good of all. So spirit saying it's a time of patience. There's massive changes going on in a family. A once solid foundation is changing and it's a turning point and it takes adjustment time for children um, and for any parties involved because this awakening process you go through this these massive changes and uh, you know it can be years um, and it it's about releasing the past and embracing the future and realizing that these changes are necessary for your growth let's get some tarot charms for Capricorn for May 2023 yeah so somebody see there's the light bulb that's about going through transformation somebody's like you know understanding now that you know things are happening for a greater higher purpose that sometimes we don't understand while it's happening um, but now we're starting to recognize that th you know why things are happening spirit wants you yeah to have trust and faith that everything's going exactly as it's meant to when it's meant to okay this is about your hopes, your dreams, your wishes coming true with the star energy here and being your true authentic self and going towards what is meant for you here, okay? 
This is about going towards your destiny whenever the star comes up. It's also about healing. We've got healing here twice, releasing the past, okay? Ships are coming in. It's time to go, all right? It's time to get on that ship and go with the flow and realize that everything's happening for a greater, higher purpose. Somebody could be dealing with an Aries or have strong Aries in their chart. Somebody who is very courageous, very strong. And uh, definitely somebody really wants to get back perhaps to nature, to um, how things, what things make them happy. Somebody may want to take a naturistic uh, trip here, I'm getting as well. Uh, definitely go into the forest or the lake or wherever it is their happy place is kind of what I'm getting here. Hmm, very nice energy. Okay, before I let you go, I'm going to get a love message here as well from the love uh, vintage Oracle deck. What is going on for Capricorn for the month of May 2023? What are the messages for Capricorn for the month of May? Be ready for the next step. Changes coming soon. Many expectation, expectations. So many of you, again, are changing directions. Okay, you have a new direction to go and these changes are coming soon. And some of you may have certain expectations, spirit saying, no, you're going to need to go with the flow. These changes are directed by the universe and whatever is going to happen, you need to trust. You need to trust and have faith. Remain optimistic here. We cannot control that. You've got to just be ready for the next step when these changes start to happen. When we start to have too many expectations that's when things get really really tough because if they don't go our, all our way then all of a sudden we're really upset so spirit saying let go of that this is up to the universe are you kidding me you have the wheel of fortune here twice the ace of cups twice the tower okay these changes can happen quite quickly so just be you know ready for the unexpected is what i'm getting here let's get some advice and guidance from spirit for you let's see what the advice and guidance is for capricorn for the month of may 2023 confidence is a key to your success so spirit wants you to remain confident don't don't remain in this four of cups energy of kind of refusing to accept everything um if it's not you it's a person you're dealing with somebody's refusing to accept everything re refusing to accept these changes uh, somebody's unstable at the moment spirit is telling you to put the time and effort in and that these changes are necessary for your own growth spiritually financially emotionally you have something beautiful coming in, but if you don't allow these changes to happen and go with the flow and have certain expectations, you're setting yourself up for a great deal of disappointment, okay, is what I'm getting. All right, let's go ahead and see what the messages are for you for advice and guidance from the Enchanted Heart Oracle for Capricorn. For Capricorn, what are the messages for Capricorn for May 2023? Wow. Ooh, wow. Time travelers. This one came out in the Taurus reading as well. Some of you may be dealing with a Taurus. You may have strong Taurus in your chart. You have all it takes to accomplish your dreams. You will naturally attract helpful friends and wise guidance along your way. Believe in yourself. So de there's definitely a big issue here, either with you or whoever you're dealing with, with having a lack of confidence um, and uh, courage within your energy. So spirit wants you to believe in yourself that your confidence is the key to your success, that things will happen naturally along your new path. You have a new path coming. So have confidence in that and don't doubt yourself and don't doubt the journey. And that again is why trust is here as well. Okay. So have trust and faith in your divine path. Everything's happening the way it's meant to. Thank you so much, Capricorn. I will see you all again next time, hopefully next week. I wish you much love, much light. Again, please don't leave without hitting the like button, subscribing, and um, hitting that notification bell will get you notified of future readings. Bye for now.